Hey guys, welcome back to Dread Out. You are not gonna believe what I have been through. Not gonna believe it. This is my third time recording the ending of the game. Like I, this will be my third time to beat the game. Just because of recording issues, basically. Um. Yeah, <laughs> not that great. Yeah, we already looked around down there. I think where I ended the last episode was somewhere in here. Because past this point of the last episode, the footage I'd done the first time just was not salvageable. Um, it was just super laggy, and I've adjusted my setup to solve that problem. And during my second recording, it seemed like that problem actually was um, resolved. I hope that it still is. <laughs> um, but I had audio issues. Yay! And hopefully I've gotten those figured out now because I was really disappointed <laughs> to see um, that I was going to do it again. But yeah, so we're at the mansion. We uh, just defeated the ghost that was hanging out on our backs. And now we're exploring. Oh, this door looks conspicuous. Sorry, I just can't be shocked anymore. I can't. What I am going to try to do right now, though, is get an achievement. I kind of tried to do it last time and I lost patience, but I think I can do it. I heard there's really no technique to get this achievement. It's just random luck. Um, so I'm going to give about half an hour to get this achievement and I'm just going to stand here. And I might die a lot, but... I'm gonna try to get it. Basically, I want her, the ghost, that is, to hit me with a cat. You know that black cat that's been following us around? If she hits you with that cat, it's like an insta-kill. And I want it. I want that achievement. <laughs> yeah, the, this is not a very difficult boss. Um, at least it's not a difficult boss if you have the vignettes turned on. Because you can actually turn the vignettes off. And then you won't really know when a ghost is near. Or when an item is nearby. But if the vignette is on, it's not hard. The ghost has basically turned herself invisible. And now you can see she's near us. And even when you use your camera, you don't really see the ghost. But you might get a glitch. Um. So yeah, and then you just take pictures to defeat the ghost. I guess if you don't use the vignettes, you're just supposed to see like what stuff is moving around. Which would be harder. She just hit me with a tried to hit me with a cup. Why can't you hit me with the cat? You can literally hit me with everything but the cat. <laughs> when I did this to me with the chair. Oh no, that chair could possibly block the cat. Get out of the way, I need to get hit with a cat. Don't you understand my predicaments? This isn't good, these tables could block the cat. Alright. Oh, my apologies. My apologies. Yeah, I'm a little disheveled, I know. But, <laughs> it's been a rough time for me. I've been really sick. That's another reason this video is so late. Like, it's I've been sick to the point where I couldn't really even sit at the computer for maybe more than like... Uh, sorry, I'm <laughs> doing some <laughs> straightening up. For more than maybe like uh, 10 minutes at a time. What did I just get hit with? Is that a chainsaw? That was interesting, not what I was looking for. Yeah, I didn't get the achievement. What? <laughs> That's a first. That has not happened to me. Is that a chainsaw? It's not like a motorcycle. It is a motorcycle. That is so funny. I guess maybe you get that if you do the motorcycle pochong. Cause I just did the motorcycle potong tonight, like a little bit ago, like maybe ten minutes ago. Don't hit me with the motorcycle again. Hit me with the cat. 
I mean, if she's gonna hit me with a motorcycle, she's gotta hit me with a cat eventually, right? <laughs> hit me with your best shot. Come on and hit me. Yes! <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Cat attack. Achievement unlocked. Ah. Oh, I feel good. Ah. Oh. Awesome! I'm so glad I have this to share with you guys. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop, but I'm gonna make sure I um got everything recorded with no issues. <laughs> Although that wasn't hard, it took me about I've been recording about nine and a half minutes, so that's not bad at all. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, everything's working. Unfortunately, when I checked. And I had to do a bunch of testing before I restarted, and I had some problems, but hopefully I fixed them again. The real problem is, um, <laughs> I don't have any money. <laughs> it's the real problem. It's kind of harder to find, um, where the ghost is when the room is, like, already torn up like this. <laughs> but, oh well. You can get another achievement in here. Oh. That was scary. I've never heard that sound in here before. I should be using my camera. Let's be soon. Over here somewhere? Let's try that camera. But it's that. Oh, that's creepy. Where? Oh. Okay, that's one shot. It's really like playing hide and go seek, really. It's pretty irritating. Okay, I heard it over here. Where are you? You know, I am just gonna have to use the other camera because this one. It's too hard to see. Father. Where? Oh, snap! Where? Where is I really wish I could use some of that old footage. Are you serious? Okay, nice. I think there's only a few more shots we need to take. Okay, we got one. Yeah, I'm really bummed that I couldn't just put up the first time I played this. Because it's just... I know I'm not as excited or as freaked out as I was. I still do get, like I said, I get quite freaked out playing this game, so... Okay. Cool. So you can tell by the music, boss fight's over. Well, it's not really boss fight, I guess. Not... I don't know. It's not like she kills you very easily. It's just a little time consuming. Anyway, let's go back to that room where we were at. Can we take a shortcut this way? Alright, maybe I want to put on my flashlight. Okay. Let's go in! 
yeah. I like to look at the paintings. They kind of give you, um, not really clues, but they tell you things about the backstory. I couldn't, for some reason, like, the screen was so dark. Okay, so we see an... Oh, I don't think I ever noticed this before. We see an old woman on one side and a young woman on the other side. That kind of gives me some clues, knowing... <laughs> now that I know the end of the game. <laughs> I don't know. Huh. Because I there's still parts about the game, like the ending, that I don't understand. Um... But yeah, that kind of helps me understand it a little better, I think. Keys, my dresser. Um, I think I just stand here. I can get a ghost here, but I'm never really sure how I get it. I usually just accidentally get it. Is it gonna give it to me? No? How do I usually get that ghost? Give it to me. Give it to me. So I never really did anything. Oh, I got it. I still don't understand. Still don't understand. Okay. Ghostpedia. Judy Pingantine. A bride and groom burned alive by the people of their village who have been suspected as practitioners of Palasic witchcraft. Um, the Palasic things, do I have them here? I don't. I mean, I did take pictures of them before, like you can see in the last video, but not. I had to restart Act 2 at one point. But, um, there were those, like, little gross like head things that were floating around and they were supposed to be like the ghost of witches or something and they ate, like people sacrifice babies to them or something like that yes yes it's creepy to hear about it the room is so dark behind me i don't like it i don't like it i really it really is amazing <laughs> that i'm still scared by this game i don't know if it's because this game is good or if it's because i'm chicken chicken i am a chicken Oh. Yeah, oh look, we're blocked in. So, I never understand this part either, actually. <laughs> You're supposed to take pictures of the mirrors. Like, if you eventually, if you take a picture of the right one, like, you can leave. And... Um... Never have figured out how I do it. I just take pictures for a while. I've even looked up like walkthroughs for this part and I still don't get it. Everything looks exactly the same. Oh well that was a good idea. <laughs> but it was a wrong one. Okay, that didn't do it. Finally! I don't know how many times I've taken a picture of that. I think it's like a bug. Um, but yeah. I'm actually gonna take- I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, the lights are on. Because <laughs> I know I'm gonna need it. But yeah, that was totally random. If anyone else understood how I did that, please tell me, because I don't. I don't get it. Um, anyway, we got a key. And, um, I don't know if you guys remember, but there is a locked door downstairs. There's a picture of a woman in red. A mysterious woman in red outside the door. Um, so yeah, let's go visit. Oh, 
Oh, sh**. One of the lights in my kitchen um, has a tendency to go out, and it just did. And that freaks me out. I don't like that. Ugh. This game is so scary, why? Yep, that lady in red with the evil eyes. <sighs> okay. I hate this part. I'm just gonna say that right now. Okay, you can see. So I hate this part. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this so hard. Oh god, why does this game still scare me so bad? It scares me so bad still. <laughs> when she's on the ceiling, she always gets me. I can never get her on the ceiling. I think I did it once, and all three times I've played, I've been able to catch her on the ceiling. Do you guys see her? Come on, Linda, hang in there. It's usually not this hard for me. <sighs> I hate this. I hate this so I just died. <sighs> Don't sleep on it, Linda. They're gonna start me over from the very beginning. Okay. Where is she? I <laughs> hate this. I hate it. Linda. She's back here. She's back here. She's back here. Where, where, where? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I barely got that one. Oh. I panicked. I panicked. I don't know. This is the worst I've ever been at this. I just can't take the stress. She's over here. I just can't handle this. I can't handle this tonight. <laughs> I've been spent so much time on this game. This is like everything that scares me in one boss fight. Holy crap. Oh, then it gets harder to see her. Crap, she got me on the roof. Don't die, Linda, we're so close. Alright, got her on the ceiling. <clears throat> oh my gosh, she's died. <laughs> Finally! Then the mirror shatters! Whew, Ghostpedia updated. Let's read. Um. Second sister. Crippled and deformed, the second sister is unable to walk and can't speak normally. I really hate that's the only description about her. It makes me really angry, actually. Um, <laughs> for a number of reasons. Yeah, and I'm really, really sick of, like, only antagonists getting to be disabled. I feel like visible physical disabilities are like in video games are almost always 
antagonist. And it'd be cool if we could get, like, um, a protagonist with a disability. Or, like, a side character, even. I don't know. Just, like, not just always an antagonist. And, I mean, at least give us more of a description than this. I mean, I, we got more of a description for the po-chong on the motorcycle. Like... <laughs> I don't know. That's my thoughts. What do you guys think? I would be interested in hearing it. But anyway, I'm going to end this episode here because I've been recording for quite a while, actually. And I don't know if I'm going to continue tonight. I really need a break. But uh, hopefully I'll be feeling good enough tomorrow to record the ending, the normal ending. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching and being patient.